Don't get it twisted. You see that mama where they sell iced fish, iced chicken, iced turkey for market. Now frozen food business she they do. But you can do yours with distinction. Only if you watch this video to the end. And the reason is, frozen food is a very lucrative business in Nigeria. And it has been in existence for so long because we all rely on it these days. As it is more affordable, more time saving and very accessible. One of the first things you consider when you want to start a frozen food business in Nigeria is the location you want to start. Our location varies. Sometimes it could be the streets, sometimes the road, sometimes the main road, and sometimes the major market. So it depends on where you want to start your business from. That is what will determine how much you will need for this business. So if you want to rent shop on the street, you may be renting it for 10,000 naira. While if you want to rent shop on the road, it may be going as far as 25 to 30,000 naira. And in the major market, it may even be more expensive. On the main road, depending on where you live, the amount where they let shop for Lekki, they different from the amount where they let shop for Maryland. So these factors has to be put together and considered when you are thinking of your location. But then, if you want to start with a good location, the most important is a location that is strategic and has lots of residents. The fact that you are not in the major market does not mean that you will not sell very well in your estate or you will not sell very well on your street. Depending on how many people stay around your street and what kind of market you have there, you need to look out for that. Next, you need to have a niche. You need to determine the kind of product you want to start selling. Is it chicken, turkey, gizzard, fish, beef? If you want to major on chicken, is it normal or robot? Lap, full chicken, wings? Which of them do you want to go into? If it's fish, is it kote, titus, panla, tilapia? Do you want to combine all? That is part of the things that will determine our next point, which is the capital. Your decision to major on a particular stock or on all stock will determine the kind of money you will need for your business. Also, your location will determine the kind of money you will need for your business. Because if you intend to start from a very small place, like your streets or your estates, the price is going to be different from if you decide to start on the major road. The major road may take you 50,000 per month for your shop rent, while on your street you may be paying 10 to 20,000 for your shop rent. You are the one that will determine the kind of market you wish to have because most likely on the major road you have more customers than when you're on your street. So depending on how much capital you are able to assess, is what will determine the extent at which you are able to expand your business. And I will advise you, if you have to borrow money for your capital, please borrow 20% of the capital. Try to make sure that the rest of the money belongs to you. That way, it is easy for you to do business and put back the money, that is, reinvest the money inside the business, instead of you trying to pay back what you got as loan. The next point is your storage. Your storage is probably the most important factor in your business. The success of your business depends on the efficiency of your storage facility. You cannot call it frozen food without your food being frozen. So it actually has to go with the word frozen, okay? In that case, I would advise you to invest in high quality refrigerator, preferably branded ones. You know that the branded ones would definitely be of higher quality, e.g. Temoco. This video is not sponsored by Temoco, I'm just giving you an example. The next is your registration. You have to register with relevant authorities and associations. Your business has to be registered under CAC. And I said that you have to register with the Frozen Food Association in your locality. I don't think there's any frozen food business that is not registered under an association. That is very key. So you need to look for them. You need to know what it takes to register their requirements because this is also part of your capital. You're going to spend money to do that. Next is power supply. If you're watching me from Nigeria, you know what power supply means to us here. You don't want your story to just go off without notice. So you need to make sure that you have a standby generator that will help you in the efficiency of your business. If your business is not frozen, your food will get spoiled. And the moment a customer buys a bad food from you, guys, believe me, the customer will tell the whole people in your neighborhood. So you don't want to take that risk. Instead, get a good standby generator that will help you facilitate the efficiency 
of your business. You're going to need equipment big and small, no matter how you see it. Tables, chairs, knives, big and small, talk of cutlass, chisel, fan, a prod, wooden board. You need a, a good fan. Aside from the one you're going to use for yourself, the one you're going to use for your fridge or you want AC, the one you're using for your freezer rather, because you don't want anything to make your freezer break down. It's going to be working 247. As a result, you need something that will keep cooling it down. So we are still talking cabinets, buckets, waste bin, ETC. These are little, little equipment that you could put together to start your business. You don't have to buy. Some of them, you have them at home. So you can actually take them to your store to start your business first hand. Next, you need to work on your customer base even before you start. You can create flyers, make a banner, big or small, depending on what you intend to start with, and start telling people about it. If you are starting in the neighborhood, you can go from door to door to tell them. You now have a store around you that sells frozen food. If you're not starting in the neighborhood, make sure you have a banner that will advertise your business, that will tell people guys i'm here that kind of a thing and people need food they will look for you whether you decide to have it in a corner of your complex or you have it on the main road as long as your prices are okay as long as your food is well frozen people will definitely patronize you the next you're looking into is your salesperson you need to orientate them you need to look for people who are relatable people who are calm people who are business oriented People that can hustle for customer and still relate well with the customer. You know, customers always like to feel like kings. So when you treat them well, they will always likely come back. So how much do you actually need for frozen food business? In Nigeria of today, we know how much it costs to get a freezer, let alone a store that is your shop, let alone your equipment you see that that is kind of a lot of money in nigeria of today so i would advise you if you want to start small you can budget 500,000 naira. create flexibility on where to start how to start then if you have good money you can go into it big time you invest millions of naira into it where do you source for your frozen food it is in this cold room if you're starting small patronize cold rooms that are in your area some of them are giving good prices while some of them are not but when you get to those cold rooms in your area they will tell you different other cold rooms that are around so you will know the one you want to pick some are cheaper than others okay so you can go to the ones that you think is cheaper for you the ones that you think is more accessible for you to get your product all you need to do is drive down there or all the vehicle back down there and look for a means to transport your food down to your own store. Before we opt out, today's shout out goes to Prince Tony Idaosa. Welcome to the channel. We are happy to have you as part of our community. Funky Audio Day is saying, Welcome. May you continue to soar high. So, if you want shout outs like this, we do that once in a week. Kindly subscribe and like this video so that more people will be able to watch this video and benefit from it. I'll see you in the next.